First of all, I would like to start with the complexity of the challenges or constraints that face dry areas. And we're talking about water scarcity, we are talking about natural resource degradation, we are talking about the implications of climate change, which will even put much more pressure on natural resources. Therefore, considering the fact that we have low productivity in the dry areas, and the fact that ICARDA experience over, I would say, 35 or 36 years now showed clearly the success stories through integrated research approach. Now we feel this approach has really to be sort of spread globally beyond West Asia and North Africa and even Central Asia was, was where ICARDA used to be. So this global program covers regions that ICARDA was not working as much in the past as we would be working now with other partners in those regions, including Western um, um, Africa Sahel and the dry, uh, dry savannas, as well as Eastern and Southern Africa and South Asia. Of course, the other two regions covered by the CRP 1.1 or the CRP on dry land systems covers also North Africa, West Asia and Central Asia where we used to work before. So what's new is certainly two, two aspects. One, going beyond the areas we used to work before and doing more upscaling of what has been achieved in very specific sites. So we are now talking about achieving development challenges. We are widening partnership to include, I would say, major stakeholders, not only in research, but in research and development. And do you have enough money, do you think? Do we have enough talents? Well, do we have I, enough resources? We, enough talents we have and the expertise we have because we are talking about pooling expertise with a very wide range of partners from national programs where there is lots of expertise and expertise within the CG centers and within the advanced research institutions. And, and therefore the expertise is there. But of course the resources are, the financial resources can be limiting. We're starting with about $120 million for uh, three years. Some of this money is coming from special projects, which means that they will have their own life and their own reporting. But I think we need more core support so that we will be more free in working really uh, to achieve the agenda or the goals that we are after. So there is a need for more resources, but I think I don't want to stay, uh, say we need to have more resources before we start. We start now, and as we go and show more impact, I expect donors will certainly invest more where they see good success stories. So if you are a villager in sub-Saharan Africa today, would you be optimistic and happy that help is on its way? I would think so, uh, particularly when I would see that in those target regions there are very good success stories. And I think one thing that I feel is very important, the whole issue of publicity and communication, which we usually under, I would say, under invest in. And I think we need more and more to look at also a missing link, which is uh, in the research for development continuum, and this is the extension. We really need to think about extension in the broad sense, not in the sense only of a poor uh, extension agent who have very little resources, very little information, and blame extension. We should really think broader using the modern media that we have now to pass the knowledge and pass the technology because farmers are very smart by nature and they would really go uh, for uh, better technology as long as it will make a difference in terms of their income, which is really the judging, I would say, criteria for them.